We're back. After what? Eight months. Not even, dude. It was like six. Six months. But we have a special sexy guest right here. So sexy. <laughs> uh, introduce yourself, please. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's uh, it's me, Jonathan, Jono, Pequeño Hermoso. Oh shit! There you go. All that. Is that your Twitter handle? <laughs> No, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's my grinder. No, no Twitter. I got rid of that. Too, too much. Twitter's too much. I don't know. You were posting too much. Yeah, no. I too much temptation on Twitter. Yeah, exactly. Dude, too. Much. <laughs> fire, like, you know, right? Bitches, bark, bark, bark. <laughs> Damn bitches. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty good one. So I know it's been a while. Yeah, like probably like almost a year. Damn, yeah, well it's almost actually, I think it's like I first episode we did it. It's been a while. It's been a year. It's been a little bit, but I think the uh, last one that we put up was the uh, oh, Detective Pikachu. I think Detective Pikachu one. We that was a while to, ago. Like, we had to take breaks. A lot of stuff happened. That Drama. movie threw me for a whirlwind and made me realize I'm kind of racist. Because oh. when I saw that it was Ryan Reynolds as a dad, I was like, oh, that can be a possibility. I forgot <laughs> about that. <laughs> well, damn. I thought Pikachu's voice was just Ryan Reynolds. I didn't realize what happened. <laughs> You're like, oh, yeah, jeans aren't always that exact. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, Needless to say, I was surprised at the yeah, end, and I was, I was like, very happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's a crazy world out there. <laughs> <laughs> you go around now that I think about it. Like, kinda, yeah, a little racist, but everybody's a little racist. So <laughs> I think we're all racist. I'm not. A little bit. So every every now and then. Yeah. You have to love a little sprinkle of racism. <laughs> okay, no, stop it. <laughs> you guys stretch that over. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm just submitting this. <laughs> oh I don't god. get that to like, all right, just watch one of those. So, how many <laughs> monsters? There's monsters currently on the table. How many have you guys had so far? This is the first one. This is the first, first one, one today. today? Okay. Yeah, I usually have like around six a day. I was going to say, typically, he I know has like six or seven. I have like one. I can't drink that many. I have an addiction to like caffeine. Anything with caffeine or like energy drinks, they don't do shit for me. God damn. The, even if I take a, what's it called, pre workout? Like, it feels weird for, like, the first 10 minutes, and then it was, like, cool. What about cocaine? Well, <laughs> well that's a different story. <laughs> that's a different kind of party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's just me. That's just me humping a, a trash can. <laughs> that's just Alex on a typical Tuesday night. Yeah, there you go. Club's going up on a Tuesday. Yeah. Also, I go to weird clubs. It's just a bunch of old people. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy's? Teddy's? That's what I was say. Hey. <laughs> there you go. No, I think I haven't been to Teddy's in years. Years. I haven't been that broke yet. Like, you know you want a beer or a drink, but you don't have money? Mm -hmm. You can wait for a cougar to buy you one? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. That's where your last two kids came from, right? Yeah. Don't talk about them. <laughs> kids, if you're watching, I'm not your dad. <laughs> <laughs> don't come crying to me. <laughs> but say hi to mom. <laughs> <laughs> say hi to mom. <laughs> text me. <laughs> Jennifer, please text me. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> wow, this just went somewhere. It's three minutes of just random shit that happened way too fast. It's way too fast. Way too fast. Never too fast if you think about it. It's like you always gotta go raw DC too. There you go. Damn, I went just crazy. <laughs> like <laughs> having sex Obviously you can tell we haven't done this in a while. We're a little rusty again. But trying to find our feet. Trying to find the feet right now where we're going with it. But I guess like the main reason we wanted to start again right now is specifically because Alex here is a huge, I guess, what would you call it? I just hate myself so much that I just eat a bunch of spicy You like to torment yourself with eating spicy stuff. A masochist, if you will. Hey, dude, even when I just got cut and I was like, the first thing I was like, why am I horny? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're doing, I'm, I'm doing a, well, I don't know if you're going to be part of this, but you're actually eating for this year too? No, I'm not going to. I remember what happened last year, and uh, the hot snakes were not very pleasurable. Yeah, so, uh, so. it's like, like, yeah, last year, John here, uh, I don't want to say like what you did. You uh, started the competition. So, Myra, she uh, she's a homegirl from, uh, from Potafo, but now she works somewhere else. I don't even know where yet. Um, but, yeah. Pretty much, she wanted to do this hot wings challenge, the hot ones, 
and she bought this box all of all of them. A few were missing, if I'm correct. I yeah. think we were missing the uh, yeah, the three dogs, the double X. Because I think that time. Yeah. Yeah, that one came out like fifth in the double X. Yeah, that one, the dab redo, or the last dab redo, and uh, so yeah, we had a few of them. I think it was at least eight of them, and uh, her family, a couple of the homies, we all came out and we ate the the wings. And it was pretty fucking fun. It was, it was, it was hot. I I'm not a fan of spicy. Um, I feel you on that one. I I I you don't need anything spicy. Bro. Can't. Like I like salsa. Salsa is really good. But like, to torment myself. So a little backstory. I managed Ace in the Hole, and these guys wanted to do a hot wing challenge because we were renting out the kitchen to okay. some some cats. Mm. And uh, not real cats, but like yeah. some some. Yeah. <laughs> like, damn, <cat> <laughs> Hey, if Ratatouille could happen, you know, <laughs> no. let's do it. But anyways, um, these guys wanted to do a hot wing challenge and they had me sample their sauces each and every time. So they like every other day I was Eating testing a hot wing yeah. and I'd be like, nah, this is all right. Like I could take spice, but not not to an extreme. <laughs> yeah. Like not like what we're about to like. There's two hot sauces right on the table right now. The last dab triple X and the uh, yeah. So it's it's gonna be interesting because I really want to taste them right now. So you'll <laughs> you'll probably hear me going <laughs> later on. But so uh, how does the contest work? Like, what exactly do you guys do? Is it like six wings? Like the total? How many wings so do you have to eat? So for this I'm year, we are doing ten wings. We have ten local. So instead of it being just hot sauce, just like just, the hot ones, just the hot ones. This is gonna be actually made by local people. Um, local restaurants as well are joining in. We have undisputed. We have flicks. We have fuck. I don't even know. Let me get it out. I should actually have it out already. It's okay. But uh, we can fix it in post. We're not gonna yeah, fix it in post. It's, it's not gonna be fixed in post. Yeah, I think I'm gonna watch this whole thing again. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. So I have to edit. But yeah, we we have quite a few people, and uh, we have actually all ten spots filled for the sauce makers. So we have ten people competing for the sauce boss challenge. And so the sauce boss challenge is you got to make the hot sauce mm -hmm. and you got to make it the hottest you can. And what's going to happen is the people eating the hot wings will say this motherfucking wing was the hottest wing. And then that's the sauce boss. But there's a first, second and third. We're going to have trophies for that. It's going to be sauce boss. And then the other like second place sauce boss, third place sauce boss. We have Gabe Valencia with BAMS, which is out right next to lost and found. Um, okay. Chef Javi with Keg and Brew. He's on the east side in their food truck over there. We have Clyde Perkins with uh, Lifts and Libations, Diversify. He's out at International on the weekends. Go check him out. Uh, uh, Scott Placecki, he's actually my boss at Flix. He's my lead brewer. I'm the assistant brewer, by the way, at Flix. We'll talk about that in a bit. And uh, we have Andrew, who's our kitchen manager at Flix, Matthew Solis Hernandez from Mona, Sergio Rodriguez. He actually cooks for the courthouse, I believe, which is pretty cool. Oh, does he really? Yeah. Damn. Do I have to take my lawyer to this one? <laughs> yeah, I'm right? I'm making sure because... Do have to sign something? CJ, we actually do have waivers and all that good stuff. Yeah, so in oh, case yeah. you... Oh, God. Yeah, dude, like, I'm punishing my butthole. CJ uh, Johnson, who also is our assistant kitchen manager, Chris Madrid with Undisputed, and Eric with Hot Chicks. Ooh. So... Um, okay. Yeah, we have we have all those, and then of course we have you, returning champ, Alex, Woo! returning champ, and we have quite a few people uh, signed up. We have actually I haven't updated this, but we, I think we have three spots remaining. How many total spots are there? Twenty spots for the yeah, so for the Wang eating competition. So, pretty much you got to eat those ten hot Wangs, and uh, got to eat them as fast as you can. That way, you have 30 minutes after of no drinking. You you have to eat these hot wings, and then after that, once you're done with all 10, you cannot drink anything for 30 minutes. So because well, last year was 10. Last year was 15. Oh, 15. Oh yeah. yeah. So I, what, what's the reason that you, I guess, doubled the time? Uh, I guess because I started well, I started eating everybody else's wings until yeah. they finished. And I didn't drink anything until everybody finished. Yeah. So <laughs> I was, I was if he's day. able to do that, then you got to elongate it. You, gotta, <laughs> you know, like. And I'm still going to eat someone else's wings. 
<laughs> it's just it's I, I just have to do it. so <laughs> I'm hearing a lot of talk about Gabe Valencia's wing from BAMS what? you actually can take this challenge right now mm-hmm. if you go over to BAMS um, oh, I just want a surprise though. like I kind of want to go now but yeah exactly time, just, like, I gotta be surprised uh, I don't want to be surprised. I don't think I don't think you should ruin it now like you should be yeah, yeah exactly. go into the contest yeah, and see like, what last, it's like last year uh and that's still like uh like it was i knew the sauces mm-hmm. it's also like hot yeah sauce. exactly and then the, i like straight up as soon as i know like the bomb i hate that one it's not that it's like it's not just i hate fucking chili extract like that's what screws me up i can't take peppers i can't take how, like anything but yeah. that extract just lingers mm. and that's what bothered me and as soon as like i was like i know what i'm expecting which i have the sauce here yeah. It's a little freaking tough. And it just stays there. Like, it's like you feel it, like you burp, and you still taste that sauce. Like, everything was gone after that sauce. Like, I, I had already other wings, and I'm just like, I keep burping just that sauce. And that's the thing, like, that's the one that bothered me. That one and the Jacula, uh scorpion pepper one, which I don't know if I still have that sauce, but it's good, but it's another sauce that just stays with you. The scorpion pepper? Yeah. It stays like it's. I remember like the first time I had it, I had a shot of it, which don't recommend doing that. <laughs> that sounds horrible. And uh, <laughs> I remember in the middle of the night, I kept walking. I was like, "Why is it still spicy?" <laughs> yeah, those poops are hardcore. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Actually, but I do enjoy the bomb a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know why, but that's the sauce I that I grab it. Freaking nuts, man. Yeah, it's because you don't like spicy stuff. Oh, dude. Do you want to try that one? I you got to try no. one of them. I would kill myself you right now. You gotta try one. See, I like a little dash. dash the in crazy your thing is, this like blew up. Ever since this hot one things, I feel like the, the like bomb. all the spicy stuff just completely blew up, and now it's like everybody's like doing this to themselves. Yeah. Um, my brother in law bought those like hot chips, or whatever they're oh, called. Yeah, the the, the pakis. Those. Oh, yeah. I love those chips, dude. Like the one chip that like the you just buy the one it's chip, and it's like, dude, so thir- he bought ten of them. Ten of them. He bought ten That's of them. Three hundred and fifty. Yeah, he spent right? three hundred fifty dollars on those things, and Why? hell no, why not? Yeah. He's like, also, I could have, well, he does it. He does your midnight Amazon buys after too many, <laughs> too many drinks at the bar. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened right here. I got drunk and then like I forgot I bought something on eBay, and like you just showed up. I was like, oh. Uh. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> also, these gaming shirts. That's how they happen. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. I don't know why, but no. <laughs> why red and blue? My favorite color is red. Oh, okay. But uh, the blue one just because uh, we started, to, we had the idea also like on the podcast. That yeah. We can use any shares, but I guess dr- I was drunk. I was like, I gotta buy a blue one. <laughs> Guess to make it look a little bit more official. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. So right. probably like I'm gonna buy another one if we keep doing this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm trying to. I want to do this. You're always more than welcome to come. Because you're sexy as fuck. Oh, thank oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> All right. But, but yeah, I need like. I have all the last apps here. The fact that I think you gotta make him eat like twenty of those wings though, cause this dude like just whatever chips grows through whatever. Dude, these are delicious. I yeah. love these. We're not sponsored by <laughs> I don't think we're sponsored by anybody yet. So I'm about <laughs> I'm about to try the last dab triple X. Which is the spiciest one they make? You don't want chips? No, nah, I'm good. Nope. <laughs> it needs a thick one too. Pretty thick. Oh yeah, slap that up. Like it owes you money. Like it owes you money. I'm not trying to get a whole bunch under there. That's, <laughs> that's all I need. All right, little dollop. Hmm. All right. That's pretty spicy. It's <laughs> yeah. pretty spicy. It's a spicy. Like, oh, it's very spicy. <laughs> it, but it sucks because like I love these chips, so I want more chips now too. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I can't read can you read that. I know you're not gonna. What do you? Just uh, it has a description of it. Well, it says caution. First of all, heat level ten ten. The hottest sauce on Hot Ones cranks the spice level is even higher with the special triple X rated version of the last stab. Three distinct strains of smoking Ed Curry's most infamous chili, Pepper X, Chocolate Pepper X, and Peach Pepper X. Combined to smoke out celebrity guests and fans alike, add a dab to your favorite foods, and live the Hot Ones tradition. 
All right. And the thing is that it has some nice flavor too. Yeah, it's pretty good. Like it's it's not. So is this is this this hottest one? Yeah, is that the hottest the one that they have? Yeah. Hotter than the de- the the bomb. Yes. Wow. So the bomb okay. is number eight in the list, and they have one in the middle which I want to order because I'm curious about it because they say it tastes good. Which one? They have a I forget the name of it. When you season. <laughs> Don't really know. Yeah, yeah, the, like, the other one's pretty spicy, but it's not like super bad. I guess because it wasn't so big of a. That. Yeah, but it's, it's still just pretty the good. The flavor, though, the flavor is. The it's really good. Like it's, like I I have it on pizza all the time, and I just kept putting on and on. And I was like, damn it. Especially the corking one. Yeah, uh, my butt's gonna hurt later. Oh yeah. It's not already hurting now. Mm-mm. It's a pre. He's it's a pre. You're getting the pre sweats already. <laughs> oh hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh. Yeah, like uh, there's one in the middle, but yeah, the, the it's because the thing with the the bomba, like I said, it just stays with you, mm-hmm. and that's the problem with it. Like this one's after ten minutes, you're fine. I think every spiciness, like ten minutes, you'll be fine. Like, because that's the worst thing. Because when I I remember when I did uh, two years ago, I did the spicy ramen challenge. What got me was not that it was spicy, but it was just hot, like temperature hot. Mm, okay. And it's like fifteen minutes to eat a whole bowl of ramen. Like, <laughs> barely eat it in. 30, <laughs> halfway. How long do you need? Do we finish the whole bowl? Mm-hmm. Probably the 30 minutes, I'll be fine. Wait, do you have a time limit on your, on the wing challenge? No. No? Mm-hmm. You're giving everyone as long time as they need, as long as they finish all wings in the last 30 minutes? That's the stupidest thing you can do, because the more you wait, like you're eating, like you have to eat another one, and then another one. I yeah. I you're pro- on it. Yeah, you, that's the thing, like, that's the reason I probably got second place. Because I knew, like, I'm going to fucking have to just eat all of this and then deal with the spice. Like, instead of, like, eating it and, like, <sighs> this is super hot. And then, like, waiting till it goes away. It's just like, nah, one chingazo, eat all of them, <laughs> yeah. and you're done. That way you can just deal with all the spiciness all at once. Yeah. And yeah, then, the, lo- and the more you wait, it's stupid. Yeah. there's two guys that, what, they took, like, 30 minutes to eat the whole thing? That's Sergio and Miguel. Yeah, Dude, they, like, they took forever, man. I don't know how they continued. It was so hard. Yeah, it's just, it's kind of thing, like I said, like, it's just a self thing. Like, like, I don't know why I got cocky at the end. Like, I'm on everybody else's wings. Because I ate Mike's wings, I ate Myra's wings. There's a, there's <laughs> a chick coming. Uh, I forgot where she works. We'll, we'll figure it out when, uh, when the prizes get here. But um, she says she's coming for you. Oh, shit. Yeah, so, so she can handle some spice. And then also there's another guy, Josh. Oh, yes, because uh, I never log into my Facebook. Thanks for my assistant. <laughs> See, she told me, like, you should check this out. I was like, ah, shit. Like, oh, dude, I was like, no. And I go there. I want a championship belt. <laughs> you get the trophy if you win. Yes. And if I win, I'm going to make my own, like, like wrestling belt. Like, <laughs> if I go to the third year, I'm going to pull out a belt. You're going to the next year? Yeah, it's like announced. It's like the champion here. Like, <laughs> what happens if you lose? Do you give the belt? Yeah, I'll give my belt. But, wow. Like, I'll spend the money for making it. It's like some people that do that. And I'll just be like, yeah, if I lose, it all goes, it all goes away. <laughs> how, long is it, how long do you think it's going to take you to eat everything? Uh, is how many wings are they? Ten wings. Ten wings. This time again? Okay. Um, I can think I can do the five minutes. You can eat five those ten Probably, wings in five yeah. minutes. Because I ate them really quick last time, too. Yeah, you did. And I was, I was surprised how fast I was able to eat wings. I was like, what the shit? <laughs> like, can I eat all these wings? Also, I don't think they're in that. Don't picture wings like uh, track one because those are pretty big. Yeah, pretty big. They're regular that size wings, right? Like yeah, they're just regular, regular size wings. Nothing too big, nothing too small. So it all depends. I I think yeah, five ten minutes maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna once I see them, I'm just gonna go ham at it. Like yes, like a fat kid eating a Twinkie. <laughs> 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 all right. And uh, so where is the com- where is the contest actually going to be held at then? It's going to be at Keg and Brew on the east side. I don't know the exact address. Yeah, I was like, I have to check for that because I was like, Keg and Brew is like on the west side? Cool. I know where it is. Also, this is no pass by the way. It's like saying random maps. <laughs> yeah, right. Keg and Brew. This is Ooh, dumb. All of this is dumb. <laughs> Damn, you're sweating. <laughs> oh, I'm super sweating. Um, that's why I got the lime one. Hopefully counteract something. It's at 2114 North Saragossa. Right to the east side. <laughs> yep. All the way to the east side. Yeah. And this is next Saturday? Yeah. <laughs> on this, 
So I, I'm hoping to release this on the port. I'm gonna give myself some time to actually edit it and pay attention to what I'm doing because <laughs> sometimes I wouldn't. I I think I lost all the settings from like last time we recorded. I didn't re- like do it in different videos. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. Well, I guess we'll find out next week and what goes okay. on. I guess we're gonna try and record the. Yeah, the actual competition as well. So I don't know if I'm to gonna see w- if I'm gonna wear, like, what goes on. <laughs> 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 so I'm excited for like, cause I saw the list and like a lot of friends are like, Baza's competing. I was surprised about that. And I know Baza. Baza stepped out, so uh, yeah, he has yeah, to work that cool. later that day, so Damn or it. during that time, so. Damn it! I wish I was kind of like talking shit to him. That would have been cool, though. Yeah, there's there's quite and a few William people. William is also going to be another brewer there. Yeah, Will, William Patton is going to be be there. Kyle. It's a whole bunch of, like, local people in the brewing industry, which is pretty cool. Scary. I'm excited. Like, I'm excited. For, like, I was hoping you did this again. I was just like, I need, I need it. Yeah, we were, we were talking about it earlier, uh, January, Myra and I, and we were just like, okay, so when are we going to do it? And we just what was the reason out. you guys wanted to do it in the first place? She wanted to do it. She wanted to try those hot sauces, <laughs> and she couldn't finish them. I think she backed out of the competition. Yeah, she. Uh, her she last, yeah. Uh, her uh-huh. Yeah, she didn't finish it all, so which was disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he was the only girl. Though. Yeah, she, she was. She, yeah, she tried it and she fucking kicked ass. But well, to her because I couldn't even eat one of those wings. I'm sure. Yeah, because was a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Facts, dude. Whitest Mexican you're gonna meet. <laughs> really? I can't eat hot sauce for shit. You're not I even can't. gonna try any of these. Hell no, I'm not gonna try any a, of those. A little, a little. Tabasco one. I have Tabasco there. I have not there. even I close, dude. Never. I would kill myself. <laughs> okay, that last one I took. It got stuck in my, in the top of my mouth. Mm. I can still taste it. <laughs> 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 so I'm gonna take my gloves because I have an injury. <laughs> After I was wrapped. Mm. That was like my concern when they were like sewing me. Uh, my friend showed up there and uh, we were You're like, how many of my wings? <laughs> we did yeah, have gloves like, last year. Yeah, you did. Yeah. But I'm just gonna double wrap it. Mm. Don't touch your eyes though. Oh, yeah, no, I did. Oh, no. <laughs> did anybody do that? No. So like, no, no <laughs> thankfully <laughs> not. But it's a, I'm, I'm pretty sure someone this year, like, cause there's a lot of people now. <sighs> yes. It might be a little mistake. That's the thing. Yeah, I'm gonna have like, to be walking around and making sure nobody. Are does you gonna have anything. judges? How many judges do you have? I don't think we're gonna have judges. I'm just gonna be uh I'm just gonna be the one patrolling everything and making sure like people finish their wings. I have to have somebody in charge of times and whatnot. Okay. Like, I feel like I gotta get stopwatches or have somebody use their phone mm-hmm. and then just make sure this is your person, okay? Like <laughs> and make sure they, they get their time as soon as they're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thirty minutes, it's gonna be a long one. I don't know how you're gonna do it. Uh, well, dude, I, did the t- I didn't drink until everybody finished. Until those two guys finished. I That's didn't drink true. anything. Ugh. But it's... I, like I said, the first 10 minutes is the worst. You get like... You also get like a weird high into it. That's yeah, it's that. all your yeah. adrenaline. Yeah, and like it's just like... Oh, like I don't want And that's, I think that's the other reason why I got cocky. Because it's like... I just, I kept seeing Mike next to me. And he was just like being a bitch about it. Also, I was like, him out. I was like, don't smell the bomb. Don't smell the bomb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So then I'm assuming your like time is gonna be your guys' tiebreaker. Like say, yeah, this dude finish. and you finished all your ten wings, but then you still go to the thirty minutes. It's gonna be whoever ate yeah. the wings the fastest at that point. Yeah, so it's whoever ate the wings the fastest and lasted and lasted like as soon as you're done. Whoever finishes the competition first, yeah, is that's who. Gotcha. Yeah. Also remember to take out the gloves and don't touch your dick. Cause yeah, woo. and then also. Um, Fuck, I totally forgot where that was going. <laughs> <laughs> what was I going to say? Um, yeah, I totally. That's, it's gone. It's gone. No, it's no gone. Worries. All right, well, then I guess we'll see what happens with that next week. It's going to be a lot I'm of fun. I'm sure Alex is going to be dying at the end of it, though. No, dude, I'm, I'm going to have to ask for Monday. <laughs> oh, if you... Uh, pretty much if you drink something, you're disqualified. Oh, yeah. With, within sense. the 30 minutes, so... There's that, and I think you'll have like at least four or five people do that now. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Like definitely. at least four or five within like when the first couple of weeks. Like, yeah. Well, even when I did the ramen one, like the girl next to me, like she took one spoon. It's like no, I can't. Like that's all she did. I was like, really? You paid for this to be here, and that's what you, her husband like ended up eating it. 
Really? Yeah, like he was behind you. Like I kid, like just one like circle of the. Hey man, it of happens. The, of the fucking ice, of the broad, and she was done. And then they told me, oh, like we infused the the egg with uh, with a ghost pepper. And I was like, that was the first thing I ate, and it didn't taste like anything. I was like, cool. I just ate it because like this was gonna take me longer to eat. But like I said, that one was more like the temperature of the. Oh, the, the, the bra, bra. Like the, bra. the noodles yeah. more than anything. The bra was very cold, but according to him, like, oh, the noodles were freshly out. So, like, uh, like, that's what burned me out. And don't drink milk because it's a bad idea to milk. Makes you throw up. Really? Yeah, so if you want, like, you want, like, help yourself, it's... With uh, spicy in general, or...? Yeah. Like it's, I thought that was what you were supposed to drink. Uh, it has to be, like, something heavier, like, more creamier. Like ice cream? Hev- yeah, ice cream, heavy cream, or some people eat uh, half and half. Happy Which what is the hell? Yeah, dude, like I didn't know that until like someone explained it. I was like, oh, okay, like it has to be like fatty cream. So I'm just like, okay, makes sense. So if you were like if you don't drink milk, you're fucked. <laughs> if you want milk, it's not gonna work. <laughs> and beer helps actually. Beer yeah. Is, uh, the yeast uh, allows you to to control that spiciness. Learn that by cherry store. Like once you can buy one. She's like, no, beer helps. I was like, cool. Hell yeah. Tried, I was like, hell yeah. Yours always good. So good. It's helping right now. <laughs> uh, talking about beer, this beautiful man again here <laughs> makes beer. <laughs> makes happiness for other people. <laughs> yes, makes I dreams do. come true. Makes <laughs> dreams come true. It's it's pretty fun. I uh, I've been brewing for thirteen years now. Home brewing for thirteen years. Um, commercially, I've been brewing for three. Years. Where else do you like before Flix? Uh, El Paso Brewing Company. Oh, okay. So, uh, worked with El Paso Brewing Company. Learned a whole bunch there. Um, that's pretty much where I learned a lot of my cellarman work. Just learning how to CIP cleaning in place. Um, learned how to uh, brew like on a on a ten barrel system. It was pretty pretty cool. It wasn't a whole ten barrel system. So a barrel is two kegs. Hmm. So it's like a 20 keg system. We Ooh, get 20 kegs. Uh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> so, well, actually, that's 20, fo- ha- like the the big the f- kegs, fat the yeah. fat ones. Yeah. Those are the 15.5s. We, uh, we use the Slims, the little 5.5 kegs, yeah. the little tiny ones. And uh, we would get like 57 kegs out of that. I always wonder, like, why you guys use those little ones? It's just easier to move. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, every <clears> time <throat> I go to breed, like, I never see a big-ass cake. This is rare. Like, I never see They're expensive. Ones. I was going to say, it's probably the cost of more yeah. than anything, I imagine. Yeah. Once you – but it's more cost-effective. So, as a brewery, like, once you get, like, those big kegs, yeah. you've made it. Like, you, you know, like, it's pretty cool. Anyway, sorry. Sorry about that. It was a quick word for us, but just one of the <laughs> um, So I, I guess at Flix where you're brewing right now, do you guys have like, because I mean, it's like a corporate thing, right? Yeah. So do you have like a recipe that you guys have to follow in terms of like the brews that you guys make? Or do they give you freedom to like say, hey, come up with something or what kind of, you know, seasonal beers, what flavors do you want to come up with, anything like that? Um, so we have our core six. Mm. So that's going to be our Nebulous, our 10 Day, our Umbra. Our Lupulus, Lunarosa, and sexy. Mm-hmm. yeah, that one's super pretty. That's 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 a very nice beer. I forget the other one, and I always forget this one. But anyways, we have to do those core six. On top of that, we have our seasonals. So say Oktoberfest is going to come up yeah. in September. We have a Oktoberfest that we do, and then we have like a Kolsch that we do. We have a whole bunch of them. But as long as we have those seven to eight beers, we have three more bright tanks because we don't use kegs really. So we have bright tanks, which is this big like vessel. It looks like a fermenter almost, but uh, it houses all our beer. Mm. And then it just shoots down straight to the cold room and then you can serve it. Instead Ooh, of having nice. to move kegs and all that, it's oh, really cool. Oh, that's, it. Dude, that's bad. That's <laughs> really cool actually. And uh, we have a control panel that allows us to control the temperature of each bright tank. So we could say, we want this beer to be at 45 degrees. 
or this beer to be at 35 degrees. You so know, does just, that change the flavor of the beer, the temperature? Uh, like yeah, depends. always. It, well, yeah, so no, like if don't it's drink warm beer. Cause warm beer is actually usually. like usually how you're supposed to drink yeah. beer. I really enjoy warm beer, um, especially okay. like with the stout or any flavorful beers. Oh, okay. When it warms up, that's when you get a lot of those flavors. Um, with it, with a really good stout, you can get like raisin, you can Ooh, get um, tobacco, you can get like a lot of different flavors, but you got to allow it to warm up. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not saying like drink at room temperature. Oh, yeah. Some beers do ask for that, but normally a good 45 degree beer is pretty good. You know, uh, when you get too cold, like when you go to, what is it, um, Twin Peaks? Yeah. Oh, they have it. Oh, they have it like 29. So that temperature is actually going to numb your palate and not allow you to taste all the the flavors. Hmm. Yeah, because I think I don't like warm beer just because, well, when I was in Juarez, you always had like a fucking like warm ass tecate and it's like, oh, this is like, yeah. Other reason why I don't really like the cakes. (laughs) (laughs) I don't mind it, like here, like sometimes, but I'm just like, I just make sure like, why do I, why are we drinking like warm ass beer? Fucking and so a, l- a lot of those beers aren't really meant to be warm. <laughs> had warm, yet. yeah. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, it's middle school. Dude. And then the, <laughs> like, what is it? Who says drinkability? Uh, of course, no. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's Bud Light. One of them, or most of them, actually, always yeah. reference their beer as refreshing. Yeah. And, well, uh, Miller does that a lot. I see it a lot. And so that's because they don't have a lot of flavor in those beers. Yes. And that's and why course. it's meant to be more cold yeah. because it's refreshing and it's cooling. and It's, it's so the White Cloud beer. Oh, oh it's shit. I finally found it. LaCroix White Cloud is pretty good. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna gonna it's a LaCroix beer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's all it is. <laughs> but um, which actually Flix is probably going to start doing. We're going to start making hard seltzers here. Oh, really? Right? Yeah. Dude. Um, Corporate wants us to do that. So we do have to follow corporate in whatever they do tell us to do. But we do have our, um, they allow us to be creative with whatever we would like. Mm-hmm. I actually, uh, for Dr. Sleep, I was able to make a beer for that movie myself as an assistant brewer. So I'm an assistant Ooh. brewer. And um, they allowed me to make my recipe for that movie. Okay. So it was, I made a, a, it was a steam beer, but since Anchor Steam out of San Francisco um, has the rights to the steam beer, mm-hmm. we couldn't call it a steam beer. So we called it an amber lager, but the name was Here's Johnny. Mm-hmm. So my name's jo- Jonathan, <laughs> and uh, people call me Johnny sometimes, and uh, it's Here's Johnny's first recipe, and it's a little ode to Dr. Sleep and The Shining yeah. and all that, so... Uh, and the steam is because of the the steam that they look for, the shining, if oh. you will. So that's what's pretty cool, um, that I was able to do that. So they allow us to be creative as long as we just do our job, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. As long as we're making other beers. And yeah, as long as we're sticking to our – because it's like a whole calendar, and it's so weird, like, to overall think of your year as just deadlines. Like um, – Essentially, it's just like, okay, well, we have Godzilla coming out this year. Actually, it was pushed back. So now this beer that we're making in, uh, in about two, three months. And we're like, what? We're already going to be in July in two, three months? Or, you know, just thinking yeah, like yeah. that. Like, like, damn, where the fuck is the time going? <laughs> <laughs> I think in any corporate job, it's like that. It I is. Like but it. I guess, like, for me, it doesn't seem like that because I'm enjoying what oh, I'm well, yeah. doing. You know, it's just like, oh, shit. Like, uh, where did... Where did the time go? Yeah. You know? Because I, I think when I was managing Starbucks, I was like, I always forget about holidays because I was thinking, like, oh, I had to be ready for next month already. Yeah. Like, well, I had to order, which is stupid. It's just me ordering stuff. But I was just like, I was like, wait, I'm still in January? Like, I'm already ordered for March. It's yeah, like, that's it's crazy. Like, that throws you off. And I forget, like, a lot of people was like, why didn't you call me for, like, my birthday or something? I was like, I, was like, I was thinking next month already. Yeah. <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> I don't call my parents. Oh god, uh, that's cool though, dude. I I honestly haven't been to Flix yet. I've been wanting to go, but haven't had a chance to go. But um, go check it out, man. Those it's beers sound pretty good. I'm kind of intrigued yeah. by them. 
Luna um, Rosa one sounded yeah. way too sexy. The Luna Rosa is actually going to be a blood orange wit. So think about like a, blo- a blue moon with blood orange. Oh, Pretty good stuff. Yes, I love blue, I love blue moon. <laughs> it's, so it's how many really times you put your dick in the beer? You're saying? Uh, pretty much each and every batch. Oh, nice. Yes. So you get a little taste of Johnny. <laughs> a little taste of Johnny in every batch. Especially on that one that here's Johnny. Yeah, that does. You went full nuts on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tea bag the beer. <laughs> Like, what are you doing? Like, this is the secret flavor. Like, this what? Is, this, this, <laughs> this is the is way. Steam. <laughs> <laughs> this is a steam. Oh, shit. No, yeah, we had to go to Flake. No. The, the seats are what makes it, pretty much. Like, that's what's crazy. That's what delayed our opening. The seats? The seats. That's what I heard, too, when it was first opening. And, like, that's what everyone kept saying. Like, the seats are, like, ridiculous for yeah, some reason. It's, what so is it with the seats? The EG2s or something like that, if I remember correctly. Um... It's pretty much, imagine... Lazy boys. Yeah, pretty much like that. But your table comes to you. So you can recline your, your seat, and then you can also have your table follow you, too. So we're going full Wally in this shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> full Wally, essentially. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> And it's it's just and then so you have that. I don't think Alamo has uh, lights. So like, what you no, push, yeah, you push like the button. They only have the light on the bottom of the table, and you have to put the menu under there like that. Yeah. So we still do that, but we have a like it's a little thing where you just push the button, and then it lights up. It lights up. It lights up, and then people come to you. Oh okay. Oh yeah. Nice. Instead of having to wait instead for instead of having server, to wait for them to see your the card up. That's yeah, the you can just have somebody mm. come at you. And it's pretty cool because, like, since I'm in the back end of all of this, I get to hear, like, because we all have, like, microphones and, like, fucking, like, what yeah. is it, the secret service and whatnot. <laughs> and it's just like, all right, we have uh, this movie tagging. All right, E6 and 8 is uh, has been lit for three minutes. What's going on? Why isn't somebody there taking care of it? Like, it's just crazy to hear the whole inner like the inner workings of a movie theater. Wait, so are, are you involved with like actually serving and all that kind of stuff or are you just like strictly working like in the brewing process? I strictly work in the brewing process of it, but what happens is we are managers as well. Okay, gotcha. And so we have to handle everything that goes on inside the brewery and primarily in the pub. So like pouring techniques, we have to teach them that. We have a... Uh, monthly beer classes so all the new hires pretty much get a in-depth look at how we make the beer beer. and uh we train them and we have to make sure hey because it's one of our things like this is how we make money yeah yeah. we're putting money into this so we have to train them and so then would you say i guess because like the appeal of flicks was is that pretty much more that you guys actually brew brew your own beer it's your brewery so would you say you're a brewery that or they're a brewery that also plays movies, or it's a movie theater that also brews beer? It's a movie theater that also okay. brews beer. Uh, sadly, because everybody has a movie theater, you know, or everybody has a kitchen. Yeah. A lot of people don't have a brewery, you know? And so at the end of it, it's just like we should focus on this because that's what people travel. I know I travel to places, Los Angeles, you know, San Francisco, mm. Florida, specifically for beer. Yeah, yeah. You know, like... <laughs> and, and so people come to El Paso and they're like, oh, we only have seven breweries now or something like that. Rest in peace, Ode. But uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Wait, they no longer exist? Yeah. Ode they, closed dude, down? Yeah. yeah they, the, 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 they separated ways like uh, with one of the partners who would happen to be the guy that makes the beer. Yeah. So, uh, okay. And it was the, 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 white, the, the guy that made the, red, like, the menu. So... <laughs> So there's no more oat, dude. Like, yeah. It was, it was, it's been like, what, a month now? Yeah, what, yeah, a month. I would say so. Damn. Dude, we were never there, honestly. I like, mean, we've never gone there that much, we but... We were just like, disappear there like when, when you want people to Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we still have yeah, a dude. tequila frog, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's because oat closed, and then we have now him like right here, uh, Old Shepherd's Dog. Old Shepherd's Dog, whatever it's called. Old Sheep Dog. Old Sheep Dog, Dog. Yeah. Shout out to Gus. <laughs> yeah, Gus is doing pretty good stuff out there. Yeah, those are. I uh, when we were there that one time, they had some good beers. So I like theirs. I like how like you guys didn't think I knew. Who, like right, I was like, oh yeah, I know where it is. 
Like, I've already been there. Like, they've been for, like, two weeks. Like, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, it took me, like, 20 minutes to get in there. All the damn construction that was there. I couldn't find my way yeah, in. Yeah, it's super crazy. But you could just drive through. I figured that thing. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going. And But it Siri took me around, like, three times around that, the block. I'm still, like, obsessed with that Chipotle beer. So good. That stout? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that stout was very good. good. And the Chamoy one was good, but... Not we just like made it. a... Uh, so we have a VLTO, which is very limited time offer. And it's uh, it tastes like a Mounds bar. So our Ooh. chocolate stout that we make with lactose, we added toasted coconut flakes to it. Oh my god, it oh, was shit. it was super good. That sounds really good. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Shit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want to drink it. Can you pass me a water, by the way, because you're closer to the water. Damn. So then, flakes. You have to train everybody. Like even if they're not gonna be brewing. Like you kind of like explain them what you guys are doing. Yeah, we just because um, we yeah, so they know if someone has right. Exactly, because people want to know. There's there's like a, I don't know the beer community. The beer people they tend to be snobby <laughs> when it's when it's not that serious, you know. We know some people. Like that. Yeah, <laughs> and and it's just it's too much. And uh, but like people ask these questions and they want to yeah. know and you know it's it's pretty cool. Like it it's a give and take. Like, I don't want to sound like the asshole that's like, you know, like, yeah, these people don't know and they're just being annoying. Like, they want to know. But it's a lot of people that, like, read a lot yeah. and they never do it. No, oh, okay. And so it's just like, no, dude, like, this is, like, you're right, you know, yeah. but if this happens, this has to happen. And yeah, if, if this they happens, don't try it, they're never going to. Yeah. And so it it's fun dealing with all of that and just – it's pretty cool, like, just being there and, like, people walking up to the brewery, like, up to the movie theater in itself oh. and just seeing me doing my thing. And I'm not even doing anything, really. I'm just filling up a keg with water, <laughs> you know? Like, <laughs> like oh, I gotta look busy. There's some water. <laughs> what? John <Naked>? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right? <And laughs> like, they just, they, they just watch me and they just watch me do my thing and they think it's the most amazing thing and I think it's the most amazing thing. Yeah, I think it's, that's the best part. Like, going to a brewery and seeing that you guys work, I'm like... Yeah, and like ultimately, we're just cleaning. That's all we do. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, we're glorified janitors at the end of the day. Um, well, you're making happiness. Yeah, class. yeah. <laughs> like that's what's pretty cool is like seeing people. Um, I had this. Who was it? There was some guy um, that was talking to me, and he was just like, "Oh yeah, you work at Flix. That's pretty cool, man." Um, I had I had one of their beers the other day, and I was like, "Oh, which or two of their beers?" And I was like, "Which ones?" He's like, I had the stout, which was fucking delicious, and I had uh, I had to choose because I only have two beers whenever I go out, and I had to choose my two favorites, and it was it was the stout, and it was the it had a name, and I was like, here's Johnny, and he's like, yeah, that one, here's Johnny, <laughs> he's like, that was good, man, and I was like, oh, okay, that was that's pretty cool, like. I wanted to be like, that was me, you know? Like, <laughs> that's my recipe. So you taste them more, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> but ultimately, I, I was just like, oh, man, that's really cool. Like, humbling, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That people, like, paid to have your recipe. You know, oh, I'm not getting paid, though, like, for them using my recipe, which kind of sucks. Yeah, but yeah. I'm, I'm getting paid to make beer. Still what more could you ask for? <laughs> yeah, right. So it's 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 pretty cool. It's a fun experience, that's for sure. And it can only lead me to bigger places. My my dream, I would have to say, would probably be brewing for Coors. Really? really? Yeah. Why Coors though? That's like my a, favorite. That's your Coors favorite beer. Coors Original. That's the beer I love. We all have like that beer that you're like. I don't know why I like it. But oh, like, I know why I love it. No, it's yeah, but clean, like the beer that you're always like go to, like no matter what. Blue Moon. Yeah, like I, always, I love Guinness. Guinness is like my go-to beer. Also, yeah. I had that was my first beer, so it's like still like hell yeah. I think that's why I like Blue Moon so much because that was like the first beer I really just really really enjoyed. Yeah. And I remember the only reason I think more so is because I the first time I had it I was in line to watch fucking. Harry Potter, Deathly Hallows Part 2. Nice. And me and my friends were just like, oh, let's get some beers while we're in line. And yeah. I never had Blue Moon at that point. One of my friends was like, you got one Blue Moon? Never had it, sure. We had like two tall boys for it. And I got fucking, I was like barely starting to drink at that point. So I got fucking <laughs> drunk off those two tall boys. And I don't even remember the movie, but I remember the beer. And that that's why I ever since I have loved Blue Moon. Blue you don't remember the movie? You don't remember the movie. Uh. In the middle of the movie, I remember getting up, having to go to the restroom. 
when I came back in, I had to sit on the stairs because I couldn't see anything. <laughs> I was like, I'm too drunk to walk up there, so I'm just going <laughs> to sit here, and hopefully at some point I'll find out where they are. <laughs> did you find them? I bet you that I did. Yeah. <laughs> when, when the movie ended. Like, when there was an explosion, it was like, oh, yeah, there yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I think, yeah, I think for everyone, we everybody have that one beer that you're just like, yep, that's the, my favorite beer. It's my go-to beer. That's how I am with Blue Moon. Yeah. yeah, I think light beer that I have a lot. I don't remember, like, because honestly, I hate, I, I hate ultras. My dad loves ultras mm. for some reason. Like, I just, I don't, it's not that I hate it, it's just like, why am I drinking this? I feel like that. Yeah. It's a beer that I feel like that, but, damn, I, I don't think other than Guinness, like, light beer, probably, like, yeah, I like Coors a lot, too. Um, I don't think which beer that I'm always, like, cool. Yeah, I trip that. out how people uh, always associate darkness, what? darkness with uh, alcohol. Like, if it's dark, it has more alcohol. Oh, when, yeah. This is like, when Guinness actually has like, the same amount of alcohol as uh, Bud Light. Yeah, but it has flavor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It has flavor. Is that true? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. Also, I remember like the first time like Caesar went out with us. <laughs> and like, oh, I think I drink a lot of beer. Like, nah, dude. <laughs> you never see this drink. <laughs> no. I didn't even say I drink a lot of beer. I know I didn't drink a lot of beer. I think that's when I actually started to build more of a tolerance when I started hanging out more and more with you guys. <laughs> but I know that with you, that's the first time I actually started really drinking stouts. I had yeah. never had a stout up until that point. And I since then, like, stouts. I love drinking stouts. Like, that's all I think always the thing I always, always get when I go out is at like, least the I stouts. I feel like that's what makes a brewery. Like, if they make a good stout, they can make a lot of different shit. Now. Okay. This one is which, Guinness? Yeah. Yeah. Bud Light. That's the same as Bud Light? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know it was that light. I thought it was a little heavier. It's a, it's a lager. It's like uh, the Irish lager, no? Like the Guinness? No, Guinness is actually a stout. Oh. Yeah. Well, I was just saying, like, over there. I'm Mitchy. <laughs> We're just looking at... Um, awkward moment of just looking at beers. <laughs> I'm looking up the... Uh, yeah, the alcohol the, level. Not <laughs> it, but yeah, like, I think I really like stouts now. Whenever I go, that's what I tend to drink. Yeah, it's, I mean, not, like, even yesterday, I was like, damn, you're really going to I love like drinking stouts. <laughs> like, whenever I go somewhere, I feel like I always have to try a stout. Especially if it's a new bar, a new brewery somewhere, I always want to try their stout. Oh, shit, you're right. Yeah. Damn. I think he doesn't know his job. <laughs> I, say anything, yeah, I, I didn't know. I never seen it. Obviously, I'm probably. Yeah, I know. Like I know, Guinness is like a light, like stout, like alcohol level stout. Yeah. Because there's ones that they go crazy if it's too good. Yeah, yeah. we have we have one at the brewery that's probably like eight percent or nine percent. It was uh for Star Wars. We called it that's no moon. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, we have that, and then uh, we actually took. I think a barrel of that, and we're barrel aging it right now on a rye whiskey barrel. How long does it take for it to, like, be, I guess, ready? Uh, so, like, ready how? To drink, I guess. Ready to drink. So, for that stout, we let it sit for at least two months in the fermenter. Just, like, okay. aging and mellowing out and all that. And then uh, Do you try it as you're waiting to see how yeah, it's... Yeah, so we have, like, a little sample port on the fermenter. And uh -huh. You just open it up, and then you're essentially able to just drink it and then... Be like, okay, I don't like this. I like this. Okay, it should be ready now. Okay. And then... Uh, Who makes that call? You or, or like... Scott. Lead, he's Scott, your, the lead brewer. The lead brewer? Yeah, but he... Uh, which is wonderful. He allows me to have my input and be like, okay. I don't know, man. And he's just like... He thinks about it and he actually takes it seriously. And there's been some times where he's like, all right, cool. This is this is a good call. You, you did well. And I don't know. It just... It's weird because of the how big it is you know it's flicks it's a corporation and uh everything counts yeah he entrusts me with this fucking business you know <laughs> like and like they entrust me like it's so crazy um just like it's only scott and i in the brewery but scott's out of town right now like so he's he's been out of town he's been out of town for like a week now mm. and i've been running the brewery and my boss, like our boss, the GM of the whole building, has probably gone into the brewery like twice. Really? Just to see what's up. Like, hey, how's it going? What's going on? Like, what's, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. And he's just like, okay, cool. Have a good day. <laughs> and he just leaves me alone, and I'm able to do everything I'm supposed to, and he leaves me alone. And it's it's a pretty cool feeling that they they trust you that much. Yeah. And they trust me with, like, that amount of 
money. <laughs> like it's half a million dollars worth of equipment right there, you know? Like, oh, shoot. It's, it's pretty cool just to be able to work with all of it and just learn. Mm-hmm. About beer, of all <laughs> things, you know, like, like I don't know anything about anything but beer. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Trivia night, no, just if it's beer, I'm good. <laughs> like I can do this. <laughs> friends, what are you talking about? Yeah, fuck friends. <laughs> it's about Seinfeld. Yeah. What the? It's a show about nothing. I this like is, Seinfeld. Uh, I'm not saying Seinfeld's good, but dude, Friends is also a good show. Friends is. I, I'm a Friends fan as well. Yeah, I, I like I, Friends. I guess I never really got into it. Like I was just like that was the last show. Like on TV, it's like cool. Like I'll probably watch it, but not pay attention. Like I was. But I see that's the thing about it. that's why it's a good show to have because it's one of the shows you can just leave on. Yeah. And even exactly. though like you're not paying attention every now and you're like, oh yeah, I like this part. Or, oh yeah, that's a funny thing. Yeah. Like you just pick up right on it. Uh, that's why I think yeah. it's a good show. Maybe I'll try. It. I don't know. Cause it's not like I don't think like How I Met Your Mother. I know like we both oh, yeah. really like that show, but I think with that one more specifically, you have to know what's happening at certain points, or you won't understand the jokes. That's mm-hmm. like it's kind of a yeah. little more complex thing. Oh, but um, says the guy that just watched Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> That's a background show. That show is too much, man. I don't. I can't watch that show. Really? Yeah. I've never seen it, but I've I, never really. But this guy has watched like every single season, every single episode, like nonstop. That's because like I, I when I do drawings or paintings, I won't like if I put music, I won't stop at all. Like I'll be like probably painting for like sixteen hours, and I won't eat or go to take a shit or anything. Like I will just be like in the mood, like just fucking working. So I had to be doing the. I had to put like something that he dance. So like I, w- I used to do audio books too, and I wouldn't like I'll finish the book and I'll just keep painting probably, but I had to do like something that I know he dance. So I remember, like, with the girl I used to date years ago, she would wa- oh, we would watch that together. Uh-huh. And I was like, I know the ending. Like, I know, the like, the music at the end. So, like, oh, she, like, after three episodes, like, oh, I got to eat something. <laughs> like, I've been doing this. like uh, So it became my background show. <laughs> okay. Not anything. But I'll be, like, sometimes I'll be like, okay, I'll just sit down and, like, go and watch another. Or, like, I'm drawing or, like, playing a game on my Switch or something. No, dude, I can't watch medical shows. I'm too much of a hypochondriac to watch those shows. Really? The second I start watching them, I'm like, crap. Shit. I start looking it up. I'm like, crap. I think I have that. Crap. I'm pretty sure I'm a doctor. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, I can't watch them. They make me nervous about everything. Yeah. Well, yeah, like, it's just, uh, like, I'm not deep inside. Somehow I'm a white girl. Like, I'll be, yeah, I can, like, uh, have a, you my, like, coffee. A, yeah, I fucking love coffee. Dude. dude, I used to work for Starbucks, and I enjoy, like, like talking about coffee and like how coffee also with beer is like the same thing like mm-hmm. coffee and beer how they go together too but yeah like i have a I have an assistant that only hire her every once in a while when i have like a lot of stuff going on but she walked in and i'm doing a painting i was doing one of the drugs actually and i had the ipad i had Grey's anatomy and like next to it i had a glass of red wine i'm like damn i am a white girl <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> but also uh, see myself, i want to date uh, you now <laughs> Well, I'm okay. also an independent Asian woman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, You're but a strong independent woman that needs yeah, no dude. man. Hey, man, baby. But uh, sometimes I need to be hold. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So on Netflix, are you guys working on anything special right now for any like the big movies coming out in the summer? I know you said something about Godzilla, but is mm. that something you guys regularly do, or just like the big, big ones? And is it like, do they contract you guys to do it? Like, do they say, hey, we want in order for promotion, or you just do it on your own? We just do it on our own. Okay. Um, we could ask for like promotion from the people, whoever it is. Um, but ultimately it's just us. Like we have a corporate team that makes the logos for us and all that. And, um, so like, what do we have coming up? I know we're going to make a beer for 007. Okay. I think it's going to be no time to rye. So like a rye IPA or Mm -hmm. something like that. Um, one of our guys, um, R.I.P. <laughs> his name was Walt, and he was one of the founding founding members of Flix, and uh, he was like 35 when he passed away. Oh shoot! Uh, in his hotel room from a heart attack. Oh shit! And so his favorite style was a saison, and uh, now we make a saison de Walt every year, <clears throat> and that's actually one that we age in a port wine barrel. Or a barrel of any kind, really. Whatever Flix wants to do. That Flix. Yeah, yeah. So we have, like, Flix Des Moines, Chandler, Arizona, El Paso. How many are there? Round Rock. I think there's going to be 11 soon. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Not bad. Wait, it's that little? 
Damn, so it's kind of cool to have it in El Paso. Yeah. I didn't know it was that little. Yeah. It's, I it's, thought it was a little bigger. Yeah, I didn't know until he was telling me when you were working in the crowd. I was like, what? Like, I heard about it, but I was like, when you explained to me what it was, I was like, damn, it's badass. Yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. And so it's, once again, just that creativity that they allow us to do. So whatever uh, barrel we want to put it in, anything like that. Mm -hmm. And so we have that coming up. Um, but essentially, any beer that we're making, we're oh, we have one coming out from Mulan. It's gonna be a uh, what is it? A log, a rice lager. It's a rice lager. <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, am I racist for thinking rice right away? <laughs> it's a rice lager <laughs> with uh, green tea and yuzu. That sounds interesting. Yeah, and so um, those flavors are gonna come out really uh, prominently because of the lager. It's gonna yeah, just yeah. be a nice clean bill of just. What would you call it? Well, like rice, yeah, like a kirin ichiban. Mm. All those. Damn. Yeah. I mean, how we went back to racism. <laughs> <laughs> Full circle, baby. We still have to be there to try that one because that one sounds pretty interesting. Yeah. I never would have heard that. And yes, because you're a Mula, you're a Disney fan, so. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm not. I'm. I'm as skeptical as I think I was about uh, the Lion King. I'm much more skeptical about this one. About Did you Mulan. like Lion King? I hated it. Why? I haven't seen it yet. I haven't, like, I just haven't. I think, I forget that it's to me, last so to me, I mean, the anime, ver uh, anime animated version <laughs> was just, <laughs> so I was like, wait, 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 <laughs> <Not> move on. <laughs> um, the, the animated version was just so good. The music, the acting, I think everything just fit perfectly. The uh, CGI version. Okay. Woo, sorry about Anyways, that. Um, no, I did not like the remake of The Lion King. As beautiful as I thought the movie looked, and it, it looked really good. I mean, the CGI was really, really good. I thought the acting was absolutely terrible. I could not stand the kid that they got to play Simba, little kid Simba. The little Garnala wasn't that bad. But you could tell that they had no, hardly any experience, I think, in the whole... Uh, the way they were, the voice acting to them just didn't seem like it fit naturally to them. And it looked like they had, a, it felt like they had a hard time doing it. Donald Glover, I liked that Simba. Timon and Pumbaa were really good. The actors, I can't remember who they got from, but they actually weren't weren't bad. And then, but Beyonce as grown up Nala, I could not stand that. It sounded just completely fake to me. And then when out. they started singing, it seemed more like it was like, okay, Beyonce singing, so we have to give her Beyonce moments instead of being these are the characters singing the songs. This is the way the moment feels. This is how the characters should sing it. Because if you, when you listen to line, the, not the line six tonight, uh, Can You Feel the Love Tonight? She does all her little riffs and everything. And so I was like, okay, no. It's not Nala. It's Beyonce singing it. And that's like, to me, like, I couldn't, like, I, that's why I didn't like about it. The acting to me just didn't feel real enough. Or good enough, I should say, for those for specific parts. But did they put a big booty in Nala because of Beyonce? <laughs> <laughs> not even, dude. <laughs> so I got to ask. Because I love these reviews. But... It's kind of like for me, Star Wars, mm -hmm. how people take it so seriously. When I went to go see the movie and I was on shrooms and I smoked. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just thinking. Wait, which one? The newest one? Like the, the newest, newest one? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. And everybody hated it. And I heard this review and that review and all of it. But all I could think about was these motherfuckers are up in space. <laughs> <laughs> like in a war like and these like and they're real people you know just like Beyonce and they're like everybody else and and they're just they're just pretending to be up in space and they're getting paid for it and I'm watching this yeah like you know like it's not so serious no it isn't and, and so like hearing you describe about Beyonce having her Beyonce moments I guess for me the way I see it is through a child's eye and I'm just like, I really honestly don't care who's behind it. I just want to, like, enjoy the movie. No. To where, like, I'm like, holy shit, this motherfucking lion is singing. <laughs> and there's this fucking pig or whatever. What is what is Timon? Warthog? Or, what, yeah, Warthog. Is it a Warthog? Uh, yeah, he's a Warthog. And so, you know, any of that, like, it's just, wow. You know? No, I, I get that 100%. Because I was saying, I saw the new Star Wars movie, and I went in, I didn't see it until, like, I think a week after it came out. And obviously, I was hearing the same thing. Everyone was saying it sucked. It wasn't good enough. More questionable. But I saw it. I was like, I liked it. I didn't think it was too bad. Obviously, I think there was some things I was like, okay, 
that was a little weird, but whatever. But yeah, I'm, I'm the same way. Like, I like the movie for itself. I think the Lion King, though, to me, because like Alex said, I'm a huge Disney fan on its own. Mm -hmm. And me growing up with the Lion King, being a huge fan of the Lion King, was like, I kind of went into it. I was like, fuck, I really hope this. And I really hope it turns out good. And it's I've been there with all the remakes. Like I've actually liked all the remakes that they've done. It's just that specific one. I just the acting to me was just like fuck. I can't like the, okay, the kid to me is what about feel great. the fucking the definitive scene with the fire fight? Oh, it looked cool. That shit was it dope, looked right? dope. That, it was, that's what I'm saying. It looked really cool. It was just so specific whole, things. Whole, moment when they were acting and they were like going at each other and talking that still was pretty badass yeah it was that <laughs> was cool that's what i'm saying i liked donald glover i loved yeah. him as Simba. i thought he sounded cool yeah it was yeah. just the other ones like ah oh, man i don't know because for me that's ultimately the lion king it's a lot of nonsense and then it's the <laughs> fight the fight at the end <laughs> it's like you kill his dad and then what what's gonna happen dog i need action and then boom there it is you know so that's why i'm like that the movie for me was made when I saw that scene because I was, That's good. I was uh, just nah, I just have to watch it today. I was fuck. Just <laughs> there in the fucking big ass theater, and I'm just like, holy shit! <laughs> and I'm just imagining myself watching this at home, like Animal Planet, and just having the same reaction if two fucking lions, like imagine just somebody like, oh shit, we have to fucking film. There's a fire, and these lions are fucking <laughs> fighting, dog. Let me tell you. These lions are fighting. And the guy's like, no, you can't go. And the producer's like, it's too much. And he's like, I guess never too much. <laughs> Where we had to not put anybody in danger, and we're still able to see these lions fight. You know, it's amazing. <laughs> So now my question, you think you can take a lion? Fuck no. <laughs> a little baby one, maybe. But I wouldn't want to. I would I look at it and be lion. like... <laughs> I, if I'm choking it out, though, I'd just be like, I can't wait to be king. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm the captain now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just not, uh, <laughs> not want to do it. Because, like, I was that guy with this, because I'm like, now you say you're Star Wars fan. Honestly, with the new ones, I used to say, like, I watched it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just not me being a big fan or anything. It's just like, I watched it. Like, I can't say anything. That's all I can say now. Yeah. Like, that's how I felt. Like, for me, there's still only three Star Wars movies, the originals. Yeah, the originals. But then I'm just like, you're right, like, the best was like, they're in fucking space. It's in the past, and they're in space. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 Wait, so when did this happen? A long time ago, in the galaxy <laughs> far, far away, they said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are, like, are super, like, defending about all Star Wars movies. Like, they're, like... Yeah. No, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I wasn't crazy about this time. I'm like, don't watch it. It's fucking stupid. Why would you watch it? It's like, it's a movie. Go enjoy it for what it is. It's yeah. a movie, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's cool to have your opinion and everything, but, like, I, I wouldn't get that serious about it, too, because, yeah, the same, th the Star Wars one. The yeah, Avengers, every too, everybody getting up in oh, arms, dude, and I was just like, dude, yo, like, these motherfuckers are fighting space people, <laughs> Right? This Thanos, fucking... what is he? Robert is he a Donnie human? <laughs> How big's his dick? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he purple? <laughs> He's a grimace growing up. He's oh, a, yeah, there you go. <laughs> he went to Grimace the gym. on steroids. He went to the gym. It's he, like, he got a how like, dude, I ate too many fucking McDonald's. Like, <laughs> yeah, like fucking like yeah, I'll defend those movies no matter what. Like any Marvel movie, I'll play like, hey, super power, please. <laughs> Thor two was shitty though. We can, yeah, I think the, we could all agree. Which one? Thor. Thor, Thor oh, two. Oh, Thor two. Yeah, that was. Yeah, I couldn't care about that movie. Like, I'll watch it again, but I'll be like, mm, you could have got away with that one <laughs> without it. Oh, well, yes, because because the first one like everybody's like, okay, so like, yeah, they put a hundred comics in one movie. I get it. Like, a lot of people that were, like, furious about the comic book. Yeah. Like, well, yeah, dude, like, it's 100 comics for that to happen. But just having that scene when he just throws out, like, throws the, co the coffee mug to the ground. Like, that oh, yeah. Oh, when they were in the diner? And yeah. Yeah. In, yeah, 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 yeah. That just made the fucking movie. Me. <laughs> Damn. We're back to the origins of this thing. <laughs> Everybody checking know. their watch. <laughs> Fucking technology. Keeps no, dude, I mean, well, that's why like, we started doing this thing because of that. I think us, we watched a lot of movies, and that's pretty yeah. much the reason we started doing it. And I think it was because of that. It was when Avengers of, came out. Yeah. I want to say that was one we actually really wanted to start doing it. We watched the okay. Endgame. Yeah, when yeah, Endgame and came I out. I it and it got flagged. <laughs> what did it get flagged? <laughs> it was the moment that everybody was doing it. Oh, okay. Talking about it. So I think that was the first. So it never got released. But mm -hmm. it's there. Like, what was your oh my god moment? In the new Star Wars. Have you seen it? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, fuck, when, 
when uh, what's his name? Uh, God damn it! Kylo Ren kisses uh, Ray. Oh, okay. That's okay. when I was like, "What the fuck just happened?" <laughs> <laughs> like I kind of felt like it was going to happen. Yeah. But then the way it happened, oh that, and then all of a sudden he just died. Well, yeah. Because I mean, I get it. He down. gave away his his life for her, or whatever. Those force, yeah. but it was like, what the fuck are you kidding me? Like, you wanted to see more of him. Yeah, I wanted to see more of him actually on like you know back to the Jedi, back to on the light side, and I would have felt it would have been more powerful if he would have died in that kind of way in a mm-hmm. battle, not just kind of like, all right, you can have my life and I'm dead. Because at that point, I was like, all right, all the solos are gone. Yeah. Han, him, and Leia, they're all gone. Done. Yeah. That's why I was like, all right, this kind of sucked. But it was the end of it all. It was the end of it all. That's why I was like, okay, <clears throat> I get it. Yeah. They wanted to I let just, it go like I that. I just hope they don't make something right away. <laughs> it, the, the only thing I think it just sucked because I guess after the I thought the first one was really good, even though it was the exact same thing as A New Hope. But okay, yeah. Frame by frame, it's pretty much the exact same movie. So I guess going into the second one, The Last Jedi, we saw like all the fucking mishaps that came from that. How he immediately killed Snow. All of a sudden, you find out Ray's parents are apparently just pieces of shit, trash, whatever they were. Yeah. And then, so I guess from that being them, all the mess that created from Colin, Colin, who was it, Colin Trevorrow, to taking it back to J.J. Abrams, so you could t- you could kind of tell they were just trying to pick up the pieces, trying to like. Yeah. More fan services than anything. Trying people like no, 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 that wasn't the final resolution to what he did. Like this is yeah. actually what's supposed to be. I think that was the reason. I, I think a lot of people hated it because they were focused on doing that. That a lot of things ended up unanswered. Mm-hmm. So that was, I think, the reason people a lot of hated the movie. But for me, it's I was like, I liked the movie. I didn't think it was bad. I thought it was entertaining. I thought it was fun. Um, I liked that they got Ben Solo back on the good side. You know, like it should be. The whole, uh, what's his name? I can I'm losing his name. Uh, the senator, what's his name? Uh, uh, the the big bad, Palpatine. 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 That he came back. I thought that was cool. Yeah, that was that was that was like, dope. oh my yeah. god. Yeah, like, I was like, that, damn, you're still alive. So what, <laughs> yeah, what was your dude. oh my god moment? Honestly, I think that like force fight, like when they're not even in the same room, was just like yes. That, oh, that yeah, part yeah, yeah. was just like the fuck. They never did this before. Like I think that was just like. I had a, I had Which a, like, fight though? The one when they were mm-hmm. when she was in the ship and then yeah, he was he looking was, for yeah. her. Yeah, I was looking for her. That one oh. just threw me. I was like, they can do this. Now? I I like how they, like, for my oh my god moment, the fucking build up from what you're talking yeah. about. How it went on to where he didn't have a saber and he was like about to get his oh, ass yeah. kicked and at, the end. One at the end when and, he got hurt. And she just like yeah. fucking put it right behind her back and then boom, he starts fucking shit. Oh my god, that was fucking dope. Yeah. Which I, was, I hope he had like his saber for some reason, like the red, or, like got the red one back. Yeah. I was like, that was still badass. But I was just, yeah, like that fight just threw me out. I was like, they can do this shit. Yep. It and was... then they're still going back in time. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, God damn, like why they didn't do this before in any of the other movies? Because they just started yeah. expanding more on the whole Star Wars thing about certain Jedi. They have a little bit more force sensitivity, so they can do additional whatever powers and whatnot. Because I don't know if have you played the game yet, the Fallen, no, Fallen Order. Mm-mm. No. So like that in there, the the Jedi that you play with in that he apparently has the power to where he like kind of feels the Force around him, uh-huh. and he can kind of see into the past oh. in terms of what happened. Oh wow! With like specific areas, he's like fucking Batman with it, play. like the ultimate detective essentially. So I was like, I think that's where they got that from, and they're trying to like put everything together, from what I understand. Hmm. But Ooh. but how do you feel that EA does? They're gonna lose their <laughs> deal. Yeah, well, I mean, it's Disney wanting to take control of everything again. That's the reason they stopped. What was the game that was supposed to come out that EA was making before Disney bought Lucasfilm? Um, Dude, there was a lot of games they stopped. But there was that one specific one. It was like it was a, like a, essentially a shooter for Star Wars, not like Battlefront, but it was more of a Call of Duty, Call of Duty, but for Star Wars. Uh, for I can't remember what it was called, but it was supposed to come out, and then right when the Lucasfilm deal closed, they just kept closed. Oh yeah, they just closed. Disney ended up closing that game down. Disney man, and that's why they came out with Fallen Order. I guess that was the next game they wanted to do instead. Wait, that's the one you're saying, right? Yeah, that's the one. I was Which saying. I still like. I won't fucking buy. I want to buy another. It's a cool that. game, dude. It's not <laughs> bad. It's it's actually really good. Disney also fucked up uh, Lizzie McGuire. I saw that. Wait, yeah. what? Super so, sad. You know how they were, know they, were they were, gonna, they were yeah. doing the remake. Well, um, they fired the uh, the writer for it who was bringing it back and who was help doing everything because I guess. Hilary Duff, along with the writer, their thing was, at this point, Liz McGraw grew up. Yeah. She went through shit that people actually go through in real life 
more mature things. So they were pushing to have those things happen in the show. So actually make it children's relatable. But Disney, <laughs> being Disney, they wanted to keep it PG, family oriented, like the original show was, and they didn't want to show anything like that. So now, so as the a, people are gonna watch this show, it's us growing up. Like, yeah, I'm exactly. like, yeah, but about. it's more of a brand and marketing thing to them because they don't want their brand associated with that kind of stuff. So essentially, right now, the show is at a standstill. They're looking for a new writer, but uh, Hillary Duff actually posted, I think it was like two or three days ago on her Instagram, saying, um, it sucks that Disney won't let us do this. They, they will actually, were, I guess, were pushing to have the show put on Hulu instead of Disney Plus so that they could go under a PG-13 rating instead of PG yeah, rating. But they're not going to do that. Not let them so move. as of right now, basically, the show is like at a standstill until they find a new director, and that's if, I guess, Hillary Duff ends up doing it or not. I don't know if her contract says that she has a right to pull out or anything like that, but... As of right now, the, basically the show isn't happening. They did two episodes and then that was it. <laughs> I hate it here. Basically. God. Fucking Disney. Yeah, I still like, because I feel like Disney Plus is like, it's going to be up and down now that they don't have the Mandalorian. That's the only reason we all got I Disney thought they Plus. were. It's coming back. Dude. Yeah, I know, yeah. but it's, I know they're doing a different story with someone else. That's the whole point of the Mandalorian show. It's going to be different Mandalorians. What really? Yeah, that was so, the dude. beginning. That's how the beginning started. Like they were not gonna follow just him. Mm, I doubt that. With uh, the success that the show had uh, itself, with the whole yeah. Baby Yoda thing and everything, I yeah, doubt the that they're, they're just gonna pull away from that. There's no way that they would, especially yeah. if they haven't released. I don't know, released. man. They might give us a little taste, and then maybe like in about two, three years, Baby Yoda shows back up. I don't think so. That'd be pretty cool. I, that, I thought that was gonna happen like, in the movie. Because they, they didn't even have merch or anything ready for Baby Yoda, because they originally didn't think he was gonna blow up that quickly. And like when they released like all the pre-orders now, it like sold out in minutes. Everyone's buying everything. Bam. So it's like I don't think they're gonna just pull away that quickly. They're gonna milk it for all it's worth. That's what they're gonna oh, yeah. do. I just hated that they show his face. Oh, the Mandalorian. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I don't want to see his face. This is cool. I think kind of kill it. He's very time, handsome, though. I was just, I was just hoping. <laughs> like, I liked it more that like you don't know who this guy yeah. is. That's why they show his face. Yeah. He's too cute. But. He's too cute <laughs> to keep off TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Hey, Game of Thrones kill him, so. <laughs> but who doesn't kill Game of Thrones? Part? <laughs> like, who doesn't die in Game of Thrones? <laughs> Everybody. Everybody. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, because I've been, like, stopping watching. Like, I don't want... I started watching The Lady in the Tram, and I just... It bothered me for some reason, like, how it looked. But I'll probably just go back now that I'm, like, thinking about it. Because <laughs> I love uh, Christopher Robin. That was a badass movie. So, why do you think people don't like... Uh, what is it called? The CGI. Remakes? The remake? CGI. The, the CGI. Well, what is it called? It's CGI, yeah. CGI. Uh, I don't know. Dude. I think, like, how he said, like, a lot of people are just fans of, like... Uh, grew up with Disney like I it's just that like a lot of people just don't want to see their cartoons no yeah it's, it, I think that's exactly what it is because I don't even think it's just CGI itself I think it's any remake that you see them consisting to redo or like continue on it's like with the Star Wars movies people that so would you like a movie if it had nothing to do with anything before like it was an original thing but it was like of animals and they looked real and they were talking I'd rather them do that I want them to do something new. That's my like thing. Sausage Party. You know, it was, yeah. it was a cartoon, <laughs> but it was about fucking. It, but imagine a real CGI thing of that. You know, like. Oh, that, that, oh no. That would be I don't weird. think I'd watch that. That'd be kind of weird to see. So that's that's I guess what I I'm asking. Do you think like the disconnect? We like the disconnect more, knowing that this isn't real because it's a cartoon. And then when we see it, like, in real life, it's kind of like those pictures on Facebook, like, real-life SpongeBob, real-life Squidward. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, like yeah. It kind of looks weird, you know? And but it's... Like, I don't like this. I'm but that's what I'm bad. saying. If you if you didn't know that it... Like, say you didn't know SpongeBob existed and you saw those pictures, like, you're... I think still your first reaction would be like, what the hell is this? Like, who's high off this shit? Like, who's making this? But I think because you know it's SpongeBob, that's when you're even more so. You're like, what the fuck? That's not SpongeBob. SpongeBob is this. I think that's what it is with these movies. It's just because your first impression of it is whether you like it or not, and this is why you like it. When so you should we take these movies as a new concept instead? I think that's... With a similar premise? Mm. It's hard to, though. Because, like, Mulan isn't really going to be Mulan. No, that's why. It's so. not yeah, Mulan. I think that's I'm what I'm excited because about. Because that's what I'm telling you. Like, the whole... That they're bringing more culture. They're making it more, actually, I guess, culturally correct. Yeah. In terms of that, but like, there's no music in it. There's no, they're not singing the songs. Oh, um, but I heard like the little previews of the, like the instrumentals. Like, 
the orchestra like it sounds badass no it, that's what i'm saying it probably is really good it sounds really good but when you make a movie like that that people love from the get-go for what it was yeah. you're gonna have a lot of people just like what the fuck are you so, doing so we should let go of that like no you have to go into <laughs> watching it without that, and yeah. then like, all right, let me you see what I think like of it I on its own. Go with the lowest yeah. expectation ever for every movie. Because that's that's what I'm saying. That's what I try and do when I see the remakes, uh-huh. and then like, okay, I'm gonna watch it regardless. I want to see what it is. Because yeah, you suck Disney's dick. True. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. I think that's what's hard about the remakes, though. I if, just want them to start if, making if, it. If Mulan didn't exist before, and then people saw it, like, oh, that looks actually really good. I wonder what this is. But because you know, it's what it was before you're going to automatically start thinking what they're not having the songs that's what, what made the movie blah 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 well you wanted Eddie Murphy back <laughs> as Mushu hell yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I'll be mad if they make a live action of uh, Ratatouille I don't know why I just like the fact that like Ratatouille just I don't feel like movie. they will make a live action Ratatouille Dude, that, I th- people forget about the, like I think Disney what forgets about, about the movie Nightmare Before Christmas I don't think they're going to no touch I don't that think movie. they would touch that one no I don't it's you, you'd want them to touch that? No, I wouldn't want them to. The claymation is just beautiful, though. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like... I wonder if how... My, like, the same reaction with Sonic, how it first came out, would I be the same for Jack Skellington. Yeah. Like, people would be up in arms about yeah. it. A lot of people depend on that. Well, I mean, can you blame a dude? Did you see how Sonic looks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, <laughs> like, I want the... If we, when it comes out, I want them to release, like, a fashion fear where you can watch the movie like that. Oh, my God. That would be pretty cool. That's just... Now I just want that Sonic. Just, but, but if see, you think about thing, it, like, the Smash Universe I think when you make these back. movies, if you <laughs> make it the right way, people will like it regardless. It was a good movie. Like, I liked it. I haven't it. seen Sonic, but I heard it's really, really good. But I think that's the thing. You play the video game, you know what Sonic looks like. Yeah, if you're gonna make it into a 3D CGI movie, fine. But at least make sure the character looks, looks like, like what he's supposed yeah. to. I think that's that's the reason that movie got so much bad hate on it from the get go. It's like when they release because I'm like all the mangas or in the anime is like into live action. Like a lot of people are like, what the fuck is this? I think it's the same thing. Like yeah. If you, no, so I'm what about sure. like uh, Power Rangers? Would you ever watch an animated series of Power Rangers? I would. Dude, there's one on night. There's actually. there's. Is there one? I think there is one. Yeah. Hmm. Dude, I hate it. Like, fucking Power Like, damn, Power Rangers is shit. <laughs> I'll still watch new Power Rangers nowadays. Yeah, I do it every now and then, too. Like, when the movie came out, I was actually very, yeah. very yeah, excited yeah, yeah, yeah. for it. I was Dude, yeah. stoked on When it. they fucking played the song. Yes, and the, the Megazords are yeah. running. It's oh, like, oh, my God. I saw so it with cool. my brother, and we just looked at each other like, oh, my God. It was so <laughs> rad. Dude. Yeah, I was like, I don't care what people are like. I'll watch the 90s movie, and I'll watch the new one. Yep. Oh, yeah. All of it. Some of my favorites on Hulu. Because <laughs> it's so good. No, yeah, dude. I love... I actually did like the remake. Yeah. Like, yeah. I thought the remake was cool. I, yeah. And just, I'm expecting Tommy Oliver to come out. What the hell? Like, yeah, and he came out. <laughs> yeah. Very quickly. Very you didn't quickly. even see him. I know. I know. Like, but they canceled the They canceled the sequel. They're redoing it again. Yeah. Uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully. I thought it was good. No, yeah, it was like, good. The other it's thing, good. like, I wanted... To, well, then, yeah, I went back to Disney. I wanted to see another Tron movie. Yes, another Tron movie, please. Because Tron is the best. I don't what think you'll it? see one, though. Not for a long time. Dude, like, the cartoon's badass. The cartoon's I, badass, yeah, dude. They're good, the, but... The movie's badass. I think the game's badass. I think because dude. the last one was such a letdown, you're not going to see it for a while. They will, I think they want you to forget about it before they do it again. It's a good mm, movie, dude. It's such a good movie. Yeah. He has what he needed. Like, you got actual, like, connections back to it. Also, the short that they made... The Flynn lives. lives uh, oh, like, yes, Flynn lives. lives. Dude, what? Oh, no, I don't think I saw that shirt. You had to watch that. That's why I have that shirt too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, well, I love Tron. Dude. Tron is like one of my favorite Disney movies. Even the ri- the original is my favorite Disney movie out of all time. Like people think it's weird. Even as a no, kid, that was still wonderful. my favorite movie. Cause the, and then you've seen the back. Like, have you seen the documentary how they made it? No. No. Dude, they had to draw everything in every frame, like the little glowy shit. Oh the neon, It's shit. actually. Mark, like Mark in the film, like they had to take it out and draw it. <laughs> oh wow, that's fucking awesome. That's, that's crazy. That movie. One of the main reasons, like when I saw it, like made me love the documentary more. No, I don't think you'll see it for a while though. Damn. Like that remake's gonna, or whatever if they do a remake or if they yeah, continue, they like, but they to continue it, it would so. it would take a while I think before you see it come out. If they do and they do the same thing, I'll be happy about it. Like not the same. I like, think the thing I, I was yeah. most excited about that movie was the music. Daft Punk. The, the soundtrack well, that Daft perfect, Punk did, dude, dude, it was that it's was really that cool. Let them do the whole soundtrack. No yeah, that's why. <laughs> like I listen to that soundtrack just from time to time. Like it's such a good soundtrack. The music itself is just fuck. It's badass. Yeah. 
Because I think, I think to me, that's the other thing that makes the movies that good is when they have, like, an original score and it's actually just, like, let them go for it. See what happens with it. I think that's yeah, what adds to a movie. It's the only band that can play, like, the only music you can play there for that movie has to be something like that. Mm-hmm. I don't want to hear, like, someone singing in the song, in, like, in the movie. No, it wouldn't make sense. I, mean, I think we actually went too far. <laughs> we did an hour. Like, I think we're heading out two hours now. Right with this. Yeah. I don't want to continue or want to end this. Um, we can have jams all the time. We, we, can, we can end it for now and then we'll see what we do. Yeah. Next time, I guess next so week when we actually record another thing. Uh, at the at the at the competition. Oh yeah, the, the competition. Contest. So we'll we're gonna happens. have the podcast. Hopefully, I can release it on like Wednesday on the fourth. Uh, and then we'll record the competition part cool. of it. Um, uh, your mother, like your, like I said, uh, we're gonna we're gonna bring this back. This. Yeah podcast about nothing <laughs> pretty much so nothing we just helped it we, we, we started from started weird we went a little racist right away <laughs> real quick <laughs> we went back to it a little bit we like just because it was the and then we went to beer which is lovely yes beer uh, is always lovely then we got to the beer we went to mulan and disney <laughs> so we went back to the original <laughs> this so uh you're more than welcome to us come back dude thank you uh, thank you appreciate it it was fun first guess, uh, this day was actually made out of chalk board uh, but I want it to be permanent. This one, you can sign the table. Oh really? Okay, okay sign cool. Sign the table. You can. Uh, if you want that or you want gold. Uh, gold. I'm a fancy bitch. Thank gotta you. gotta be fancy in here. Let's so, here. uh, thank you, John, for coming. Of course. Um, uh, you want something to plug in? Uh, your Instagram, your, your um, grinder, your Tinder. Go I ahead. think his grinder's full already. Yeah, grinder's way too full. Um, uh, I'll go ahead and just throw a. That's Jono, that's, and then J-O-N-O on I'll Instagram. Put, I'll put the, the tag on it. There you go, yeah. Um, but yeah, just follow me. Um, fun little fact, you can find pictures of my dick on my Instagram. You just have to look. <laughs> <laughs> we all seen it. Uh, you want uh, your premium? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Snapchat premium? No, it's invite only. Invite, uh, oh, <laughs> invite only. Damn. It's a little more exclusive. Yeah, well. just a little bit more. But uh, yeah, follow us and... Uh, Go to Flicks if you're from El Paso. Go to Flicks. See him make a beer. Come visit me at 7 to 3 every uh, Monday through Friday. So, yeah. yeah. I don't know if Cesar wants to plug in his stuff now that he's more important in work. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll keep that up for right now. You just okay. find out the bottom how we usually do. Yeah. And, well, you can find me on Instagram as Alex6948. And Twitter, I think, is my same main handle. I'm trying to go back to it because I tweet some random stuff, especially when I'm drunk. It's hilarious. <laughs> Uh, and you can see me drinking everywhere in El Paso, <laughs> especially true. in the brewery. Yes. Yeah, that's how we meet. Oh, Crest and Social almost. I don't know. And rest <laughs> in peace, Blackbird. Miss you. <laughs> rest in peace, Black Market. Oh shit! Yeah, Blackbird. We went back home. <laughs> uh, later, guys.